What's going on? So, you Pisces have the Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, Moon, Knight of Wands. Then you have the Magician, Nine of Swords, the Fool, the uh, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and last but not least, you have the Death card. So, so for a lot of you Pisces, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Moon, is it really does talk about how a lot of you um pisces are very much so able now to kind of spot out someone who's fake <laughs> basically in a nutshell and the knight of wands and the magician really is about how you're moving on from that like it is that i was talking about right so things are quite easy for you pisces now to start being able to know the differences right who is putting on a good front and who is someone that you can actually see yourselves with the nine of swords and the fool really is about and you just when things start well things are starting to pick up for you and a lot of you pisces are being able to identify like i said who's real and who's fake the only thing that you don't want from those fake individuals is for them to stay in touch with you, try to contact you, try to um, be in your, get, you know, try to be in your way, get in your, in your way. They see you out with someone and then the next thing you know, they feel like they have to contact you. They have to reach out to you again because they done kept your number. The, the, uh, the King of Pentacles, because you knew how manipulative they were before. And a lot of you Pisces don't want to have anything to do with those people. So um, it's their loss. The Queen of Wands and the, the Death card really does speak to how a lot of you Pisces are ready for anything. Right. You're ready to actually get out there again, start speaking to new people. OK, but you're also the Death card. You're also ready to to never talk to those people again. Right. That you've dated in the past. If you never hear from those people ever again, it'll pretty much be too soon. You don't really care at all what it is that they would ever have to say to you. Even if they were to try to apologize, you still want nothing to do with them. So let's clarify some of these cards. So let's clarify the, um, the fool. Ace of Cups, the world, the fool, the moon. Right. Because the Ace of Cups, the world, they lied to you about them having um, love to offer you and them having uh, valuables to bring to the table. They lied to you about them making themselves an asset into your life that would bring you a lot of prosperity they lied to you about that and a lot of you pisces found out through personal experiences but now that a lot of you pisces are able to sniff out the bs now you're able to get through relationships a lot quicker because you know that they're being fake so there's no need for you pisces to be baited into situations to spend a long time right trying to see who they are and then the fool in the moon represents, yeah, once it is that you realize that they're not really planning on doing anything real with you, the moon, you're out. <laughs> you're gone. You know, you're not going to uh, deal with them. You're not going to be around them because there's no point. And then let's clarify the death card. The king of swords the uh, Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you Pisces also are able to um, move on. You don't have so much of the emotional attachments the way that you used to, right? Your emotional attachment style is very much so different because you worked on those past traumas and you realize that half of that stuff is really the other person trying to make you responsible for their own dysfunctions. So the Nine of Wands and the King of Swords really is about, people are really gonna be mad in the future when they still try to run game on you and it doesn't work. 
The Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, however, really does speak to how you, um, Pisces, don't care about if it makes them upset because you're looking out for yourself and you're doing the best thing for you. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. As of right now, I have 8,800 and 50 subscribers smash the subscribe button smash that like button hit the notification bell set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever i drop my videos